Hello everyone, welcome to the Unrarity Consult, ladies and gentlemen. Today, I'm making a video on how to create shapes and measure distances on Google Earth Pro. If you've not uh, subscribed to my channel, uh, kindly do so to help me to grow my channel. So let's get started. Open your Google Earth Pro. You need to go to the area of interest. So, Cape Coast. Cape Coast, Ghana. And this is the Cape Coast. And this time I want to draw different kind of shapes on it as well as to calculate distances on it. So first of all we need to uh, go to add we need to add a folder a folder will contain our work so after that you can export it so with the folder I will name it as um, shapes click OK so that is the folder to contain all our work. So first, I want to create uh, a polygon. So this is the add polygon to click on it. Um, so maybe vegetation. So I want to place a fancy vegetation. So you dig it ties around of vegetation areas. And that is it. So you can description, you can write the description here. Uh, style. We have the color lines color area area I want it to be red and then the line I want it to be green and the line size I want to increase it yeah and here you can view latitude longitude ranges altitude talk about the uh, height and then measurements so with this my perimeter is just 0 0.60 miles so in kilometers it will be 0 0.26 kilometers In acres, the area in acre is 1.0 acres. So this is the parameter. That is the area around um, the polygon, the circumference. And this is the area, which is 1.0 acres. So that is it. So with this, we have drawn. You can easily uh, see the, uh, the measurements clearly indicated so you click OK so that is one part that is a polygon and then let's add a place marker here you can name it something like P2 this I'd love to do then this color the kind of color that you want 
view altitude i want everything to be in the default p2 so now let's find out how to add a path that is like a road so we wrote this is add path we we'll click on it don't close it leave it like this when you are done then you close it So here you can just name the road. You can write a description, a style, change it to red. Or let's see a different color. Then the width. Increase the width. Then view altitude measurement. The measurement of the uh, the line is 0 0.38 kilometers. 0 0.38 kilometers. So I've clearly show how to draw shapes. At the same time, the measurement that will come out of it. So that is it. So let's take assuming that I didn't even draw any shape. And I want to know the measurements. You can easily use the ruler, which is show ruler. Here, if it is a path like this, you click on path and then this, this, you see, and the length is 0 0.3 kilometers. You can change inches, meters. 298.97 kilometers or you can so that is it that is a how to draw uh, how to measure a path assuming that you didn't even go to the first method that I, I talked about and then polygon to you can just uh, click on it click 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 digitizing it around the boundaries you can move it in and out you see to fit the place so for this one is perimeter is 325.97 meters and then hectare is 0 0.64 so if this is in kilometers that's how it's going to be so the ruler if it is a circle you just click on the circle and you go do it this so this circle has a radio of 0 0.11 kilometers an area of 4.08 characters and circumference of 0 0.71 so the radius is this from here to here is the radius and that one is a 0 0.11 in the whole area inside of here is about um, 4.08 uh, characters and then the circumference is like this around the whole circle is 0 0.71 kilometers so basically that is how to draw shapes as well as how to carry uh, measurements on google earth pro the measurements will not give you the exact uh, measurements of the place but it gives you approximation which is a, a very good feature so when you are done with this um, some of them have been I did it in other um, um, folder so you can pull and drag them into the main folder so when it is like this now you can just uh, save them save place as in the kml uh, file size or format you can save it in that aspect you can also save the whole of this just like this like save You can save go to save my 
save image click on it this one you can uh, if you what you don't want we need the ledger uh, the legend we need the legend uh, compass to we need it title scale uh, so the title you can uh, tap it ships or anything that you like you can write description and you can now save it onto your uh, PC and then we can open it like this a very beautiful uh, outlook can't just subscribe to my channel for more uh, videos thank you